Everyone, welcome back to Femacy Lighthouse. Thank you so much for being here with me once more on my channel. Of course, to book a private one-on-one -on -one session with me, all of that info can be found in the description box below of this video. The moon is in Cancer today, all right? You also have Gemini with Jupiter. Gemini is ruled by Mercury, the planet of communication. Jupiter houses Sagittarius and Pisces. That's a whole lot of mutable energy altogether. All right, so very action oriented. I feel like you are very daring, you are very bold, you are interested in taking a risk. And that's the perfect energy for you to be in right now with all of this stimulation. Communication is gonna be very big this week. I feel like whatever it is that you're saying, there's so much power behind what you're saying that it's gonna come true. And I don't know what you have been desiring or what you have been trying to manifest through your words, but I feel like since Jupiter is the planet of expansion and good luck, with Gemini energy present, your words are activating your existence. It's like your words are so propelling at this time and people are really believing what you say okay so a very powerful energy we are going to be taking a look at the recent past the present and the future let's get started spirit please speak to me in reference to the recent past so we have the three of swords energy coming out here first okay for some of you Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energies. There's somebody here that's hurting about something. Okay, I don't know if it's you or someone else, but there seems to be a lot of pain here. There seems to be conflict in the recent past. There seems to be obviously more than one situation that's triggering this individual. Tell me more about this Three of Swords. Why do we have the Three of Swords here? Seven of Pentacles, energy, regret, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, so I feel somebody knows that they did something wrong, okay? I just don't feel that they're coming straight out and saying it to you. I don't feel like they are speaking on it. This would be the perfect time for them to speak on it, right? Especially with the planet of communication in Jupiter because Jupiter is good luck. So there could be someone that is hesitant on communicating something that right now would be the perfect time to talk about with Jupiter being present. So things might go in a better way, you know, but someone is holding back, which is why they still feel hurt. They're not talking about something that they need to speak on. And I don't know what that is. You already know who this person is, okay? Tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles energy and the Three of Swords. Spirit, please. The King of Cups. So this is somebody that admires you. Obviously, there's a lot of love that they carry for you with the King of Cups energy. And they're disappointed or it's like they feel like they can't do anything about it. That's the energy of this person with the King of Cups. I feel like they're very depressed. Okay, tell me more about this King of Cups energy in the recent past. Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, so this is somebody really owning up to the fact that they're messing something up here with you or that they messed it up already, okay? Someone who, like I said, this is someone who has deep feelings, King of Cups energy. They are regretting something with the Seven of Pentacles and it's like they're hurt over it, Three of Swords. It's, they want to come towards you, Knight of Wands, I see that. But what's the problem? Spirit, talk to me about the problem that took place here. What happened with this Knight of Wands energy 
what happened the magician all right so it's like they went off and did something new or they like they did something that stirred up the whole connection i feel like they caught you off guard all right it's like they went ahead on something and because they went ahead on a certain behavior or a certain situation a certain direction it's now very triggering for them okay so i don't know what they did or what they recently did or what type of behavior they have but it's just not working out okay whatever new plan or whatever direction they went down or whatever they tried to manifest it's falling apart because it's not meant for them and i think that they're understanding that they feel that deep down inside they know they're going down the wrong path taurus is what i'm telling you they know it they know they fucked something up i don't know what they did or what they said okay we have aries present now we have gemini and we have virgo tell me more we also have capricorn talk to me about the present yeah so there's somebody here that seems to be going through it it's like they regret what they said to you they regret how they treated you they're hurt over it they caught you off guard because i feel like they switched it up on you you know what i mean and they know that they did that they switched it up switching it up on you is backfiring on them that's the energy right now so as soon as they switched it up on the hierophant you actually became the magician you know what i mean so it's like they thought that they were going to be the magician by behaving in this type of manner it's like they did something to switch it up on you that's the person that i'm talking about and you're not impressed and when you're pissed off you're gonna manifest whatever you want taurus because everybody knows the bull everybody knows how we get down and it's like all right you want to switch it up on me watch how i'm gonna switch it up on you watch that one you know <laughs> so talk to me about the present that was the recent past so in the present moment we have the queen of pentacles energy all right that's you or you know if you're dealing with another earth sign virgo capricorn you got somebody that keeps looking at what you're doing all right look at this two of wands to the queen of pentacles it's like you are heavy on this person's mind i don't know what's going on between you and them all right this is a fire sign energy aries leo sagittarius of course it does not have to be a fire sign however they're like watching what you're doing they're fixated on it something like that is going on talk to me about the two of wands person here spirit who is this two of wands the ace of cups yeah they love you they love you they have a lot of respect for you you know what i'm saying like you already know this though i feel like they switched it up they should have never did that i don't know what they did but that's just what i'm getting and i feel like you're saying to this person you switched it up on me so now i'm going to show you you want to switch it up let's play that game you know what i'm saying it's something like that where it's like they did something that you were not expecting you you did not see it coming is what i'm getting this, this is the person that i'm talking about i don't know who they are all right it could be a family member it doesn't necessarily have to be a lover but you were not expecting them to do this one thing whatever it was and now it's backfiring on them and it's making them keep a closer eye on you is what i'm getting hmm talk to me about the future talk to me about 
the future when it comes to this situation. We have the Seven of Wands energy. Why the Seven of Wands? Why the Seven of Wands here? The Four of Swords. They feel like they're going to face a battle. All right? That's what this is telling me. Seven of Wands, Four of Swords. They feel like they're walking into conflict. I feel like they are. I feel like you warned this person about what they were walking into. All right? And there's a battle there. Okay, we also have Gemini energy. We have the lovers present there, seven of wands, four of swords. They got themselves into something that they have to pay the karma for now. They, they feel it coming. They know it's in the future. Tell me more. The lovers twice? What? How many people are involved like, this is crazy to me. How many people is this person seeing? We have the lovers twice. So this person got like four different bodies that they're seeing at the same time. Like, what's going on? That's why they're so conflicted. You know, if you find that you have to be dating all of these people at once, then maybe you should be single. All right, something like that is going on with someone. And it's like they're confused because there's just too many people. If you're really in love, then there doesn't have to be this group. I don't know what this person is doing. You know, it's like this person needs to ask themselves, are you really in love? Because why are you doing all of this? Like, what is this? Somebody's gonna get sick with all of these people here. This is crazy. This is crazy. And it could just be people online too. You know what I mean? I feel like someone is just porn surfing all the time, you know? Buying a lot of cam girls and things. Like that's how I feel. That's that's what I was getting yesterday. I'm seeing it again. They're causing their own problems in the future here. Anything else for Taurus before we wrap this up? Four of Cups. And then when they start doing all that, they're going to end up like this. Four of Cups. By themselves. Playing around. Someone's playing too much. The World card. Capricorn Energy. Tell me more. The Two of Cups. Why the Two of Cups? Queen of Swords, yeah. You know, hmm. I just feel here that if you find a connection in your love life is not working out right now, Taurus, then that's all to your benefit because you're walking into the Nine of Cups and you're very busy anyway. You have all of these projects ahead. So it's like that's where the focus needs to be. Not on this person because obviously they seem to have a lot going on all right we have a lot of side conversations happening here we have a lot of only fans interactions we have them buying things buying i don't know who they're buying and and then it's almost as if they're in a commitment with someone but they're a hot mess like they're all over the place you don't have time for someone like that they're not honest they know they're not being honest they know that they have problems ahead that are coming up, but it's because of all of these different people. If they know they can't be in a monogamous relationship, if they know that they are promiscuous, so then be single. Why are you wasting your time trying to make pretend that you can commit to one person? That's who this energy is. I don't know who they are, but obviously if they're clinging to someone and acting like they're monogamous it's because they're using the person that they're with either for housing financial situations okay there could be financial entanglement things like that they're using somebody all right and that's why they feel like they need to be connected or to be in a relationship but in reality this person does not belong in a relationship 
They don't at all. All right, so that's what I have for you, Taurus. To book a private session, all of that info is below. Take care.